Hello Sagittarius, welcome. How are you doing sweethearts? Can you guys hear? We've got amazing high winds happening here at the moment. This is the winds of change. We're going to find out some more information, but there's a lot going on in the world. Okay, but it's very important that we also check in with the energy and also the, the future timelines and possibilities. Sage, you notice when there is a change in frequency or something that's unbalancing towards your free spirit or your authenticity or your connection to the divine you feel it you know it okay and you you do not what is it like handle foolishness lightly or whatever it is you just don't okay it's like you have fun and and, and you'll you'll be jovial and you'll have fun but it, I keep saying this at the end of the day I feel like really it is the end of the day in a, in a lot of ways there is a brand new chapter beginning you know there is there is a lot of change, okay? And know that you're very loved and um, you're the alchemist and you're the butterfly and I love you so much. Um, okay, my sweethearts, so very important to speak your truth, Sagittarius, because that's what you are, you know, the, the truth seeker and speaker and you're courageous, you're a warrior and also you're very powerful in seeing the silver lining and changing energies around you alchemize you rebalance you have that magic higher wisdom okay you have you have what people need right here okay like oh you need this and this this is how you're able to heal Sagittarius because you are in tune with the divine so you know what people need you know what's for their highest good what's for their benefit okay and so please listen to your wisdom and intuition and keep this balance and and keep this mindfulness all right if you're just like pouring doing this like you're gonna be unbalanced and and spill this but right now you're assisting the collective through your mindfulness and through your ability to share your higher wisdom okay you could be learning new skills but i feel like the downloads are there they've already been received two 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 on the screen you're here okay you have you, you're ready all right you're walking on water, Sage. Sagey, my darlings. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Getting a little chilly. And um, it's your birthday, so <laughs> happy birthday, darlings. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy <laughs> start again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sage. Happy birthday to you. You're amazing. I love you. I do. I love you, Sagittarius. Okay, we're going to be drawing some cards here for you. We're going to be drawing some cards. It's time to purge, to release that which is not, not, not needed. Clear the space because, you know, negative energies can form when we'll, we've got things from the past that, that don't need to be in the space, all right? They just do. So please, it's interesting. You'll find that, you know, as you go through the journey, like if there's like a relationship or something that ends, you'll find that the items, like even the physical items, when you're on the spiritual path, those items will break or disappear. It's like we really do we don't keep anything. The physical things are only <laughs> manifested love. But once that love ends, once that's done, they, they go, they, they dissipate, they, they, they are no more. And so when those things don't need to be in your realm, when they don't align to your true health, wealth, happiness, and higher calling, they will find a way of transmuting. Okay. The chariot moving forward from a stuck energy, feeling alone, okay? You're going to be moving forward quite swiftly out of this energy. This is the winds of change that are incoming. The devil energy, interesting, with the page of cups. So there is this sort of balance of the two. You needing to focus on the light. The page of cups is all about emotional fulfillment. And you can see she's, she's really quite focused on this. Okay, this devil energy doesn't need to be negative. It can actually be quite positive in regards to a relationship. It can be marriage and commitment. 
okay but it can also uh, on the other side be um, you know and there's a duality in both of these cards guys so you know this can also be um, addiction and and not feeling strong and feeling at the whim of the universe right but you're being asked here to focus on heart to focus on love and that which lights you up all right this is what's going to bring in the balance of the light and the shadow because right now things ain't balanced in the collective all right page of cups just came out again ten of wands all right this is a lot of work and i feel like sagittarius you're like spirit like we got some assistance in here. There's definitely a tower moment. You are strong. And you will be receiving assistance from the divine. 555, five, five, that's the change that's incoming. Is support and assistance. That just flew. And then went into this beautiful thing that I have. Ace of Wands. A new beginning the passion it's sort of like are you throwing your passion away like is your passion at an arm's reach Sagittarius like the, the energy just flipped right out of the deck and the hierophant there's a frustration and that's you know in collective energy but also especially for Sagittarius you know the sign of the free Yeah, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling like in a hopeless situation. You feel heartbroken. You, your cup doesn't feel full and you don't feel like you can receive cups that are. And it's because of this devil energy. There's some, there's like a stuck energy or there's something that, you know, it, this could be the happenings in the world. But you feel this and it's, it's, it's even though you're strong, it's not allowing you to connect to your heart chakra or that light. And you're being asked to refocus on that. And cleanse your energy field, really cleanse your energy field, okay? And we're asking all energies that are not of the highest light to simply return to source. Simply return to source. All right? Sagittarius is of the light and on the path. Hallelujah. 7-7, seven, seven, the spiritual path. Okay, so any of these energies that are looming around, you know, sadness, depression, lost hope, it just... It just, this, this heartache, it is not needed. Thank you for the lessons and the learning and may you return to source and unconditional love. The truth of who Sagittarius is, is light and love. Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning that's coming in through your work and through being true to who you are. That's what's going to be this sneaky energy that is definitely around. Okay? Trust your intuition. Trust how powerful you are. Stay mindful at this time, Sagittarius. Because as the Temperance card, you cannot be just like throwing things around. But also remember to focus on the light. Okay? Focus on the things that you love. Focus on your heart chakra and healing and connecting to your heart chakra. That is key. Because she is not making this healing concoction for the sake of notoriety or for the sake of anything other than love. This concoction here that she's creating is for the highest good it's for love. Okay, so please, Sagittarius, give yourself some credit for all your skills, for how amazing you are, and allow this new beginning to be incoming. There is abundance incoming. All right, a lot of love grounded. Eight, eight on the screen. And seven of pentacles, you're being asked to enjoy all that you have right now and enjoy this balance. Take a deep breath and see the sacred in every creation. There's a lot of passion. I hear that someone's trying to, it's like they're trying to get your attention. What do they have to say? Uh, let's get, you. I, I'm not sure how you feel about this. <laughs> let's get, yeah, six of pentacles reverse. It's unbalancing energy. There is an energy and I'm hearing like rejection is protection, Sage. Because there was an energy that ended up being very heartbreaking, very difficult for you to handle, okay? Could be friends, love, all of the above, okay? It, it took you out of your balance. It wasn't respectful or supportive of who you are. It simply wasn't. And it took all of your might to turn from focusing on the negative 
to put that true Sagittarius spin on the things and see the silver lining. Such is your soul journey, Sagittarius. Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Chalices. You remember who you are, Sage. You're the calm within the storm. And within your power, and as the queen of chalices, which is emotion and love, you align to the higher timelines and heal the collective simply through your love, through the focus of your love and dedication of your work and all that you do. Whatever it is you do, the skills that you do, Sage, whether you're a nurse, whether you're a teacher, whether you're an artist, a tarot reader, the work that you're doing is aligning people to the highest power of love. Coming up to 1111, and this is a good one to make a wish. Bless. I'm seeing a circle with our hands in the air. So do this with me, sage sisters and misters, or cross watchers. You are here too. Let's hold hands like this, all right? We're like this. We are. We're around the globe and we're holding hands. And we're sharing our gifts, our skill, and our light because that is what you're here for to share your skills, to share your light. Doing so does not mean that we're not aware of what is. Of course you do. You bloom in temperance. You know exactly all the elements are going on. You think you're going to do this while there's like a wind that's going to like knock you. No, you know all the elements. You know the right timing. You got it all going on. You're the temperance card, Sagittarius. And you got the angels on your side. So connect and share your light and love. from the passion deck king of pentacles with the nine of wands in reverse yeah you're having to defend yourself and your intuition and all that you know if people are questioning your intuition and all that you know high priestess in reverse don't let them knock your balance okay just don't. Ain't worth your time. Sage, my sweetheart, darlings, it's your birthday. And that means it's time to cleanse and, and bring in the space for the new solar cycle and allow yourself to love and to receive the blessings of the universe. And this could be the one. It says you have already met the romantic partner you see and... Stay optimistic about your love life. That's what you're being asked to do, to stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Have faith. This is a beautiful time, as always, to connect to God, to light, to source, and your angels. Let's draw a message here. Someone was scared to show you the real them. Okay? They were. But they will always love you, and their heart is longing for you. They, they were scared because they care so much. And I feel like it was new to them. They're like, I care so much. I'm scared to show the real me because I don't even think they'd show their friends the real them or themselves the real them, you know. But they do know that their heart longs for you. I keep saying this at the end of the day. They will always love you. I mean, I got, I got no issues with it at the end of the day, but it's just so funny. There are so many more things I want to do with you. I wish you would give me a sign. I just heard birch trees. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a sign for someone. A birch tree. Will I ever see you again? Maybe underneath the birch tree. Ooh, you. This depth of feeling is new to me. I'm telling you. It's like you're passionate. You're fiery, Sage. I want to know who. Who is this person? Tell us, Spirit. Tell us. <laughs> who is this person? Pentacles could be an earth sign. <laughs> like, who is that? 
Hey, look at like I'm looking over my glasses. Got the emperor here as well. Right. Injustice. I mean, all the signs are really there. But it's somebody that you, there's a lot of passion. And there's a movement of energy. It's like the eight. I'm seeing all the symbol eight here. Got water signs. You know. Yeah, just a lot of eight energy. But also a lot of banter. I feel like you guys, there could have been some sneaky energy at play too. Mmm. You know, relationships and friendships aren't always, and especially, I mean, I think that's why I love animals so much. They're just like unconditional love and like, they don't, they don't fight and argue with us. They just, they just love us. But as humans, we each have our own experience, our own outlook, our own, you know, beliefs, our own, you know, and there's always miscommunication, different ways of perception. And so, look, it's, it's... It can be a challenge, but the power is always in our heart. And when we come back to heart, it's all good, baby. It's all good. It's always going to be good. Right? I'm really just hearing like clear the space and allow yourself to love. Just clear the space. Maybe it's like clear the decks, clear the past. Just, just allow yourself to love, Sage. Be in love. Everything you do, just be the love. Connect to love. The world needs you in your love right now, Sagittarius. Put your crown on. Put your crown on as the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Be that queen or king that you are. Yeah, put your crown on, Sagittarius. Yeah, crown. Okay. King of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. And who is this one? And the Knight of Chalices. Yeah. There's a time of healing in coming. And it's to do with love. Okay? My darlings, last but not least, let's get you a sacred oracle. And I'll be back, you know, before your birthday season's over and out and all that. But it says, relax the hold of the darkness and be at cause. And what was that? As the alchemist, to stand in your light. Doesn't mean that the darkness is not there. But there is a time of rebalancing and a time of rejuvenation and a time for focusing on the light. Okay, it doesn't mean that you're not aware of the happenings, but you're taking action, you're standing in your strength, and you're allowing yourself to receive these light energies. Okay, allow yourself to receive them. To the point that you're going to annoy the darkness, they're going to be like, why say he's just getting all this light and all this love? He's <laughs> like, it's my birthday season, baby. It's my birthday. Legacy of light. In the spiritual path. I love you, Sagittarius. Be the legacy of light. Stand in your light. Share your light. You are loved forevermore. Bless. 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 I love you so, fam. Ciao for now.